Jesus Lazardo, I saw him over the weekend against the Mets, was, I don't know if it was like adrenaline or what, but he was throwing harder than I had ever seen. I had 16 pitches north of 80, uh, north of 98 miles per hour. Sarah Langs of MLB.com said that's the second highest uh, in a game in his career. So he was pumping it. If he can keep that going, like he's very capable of taking a step forward as well. You mentioned Brendan Donovan. We, you know, the past couple of weeks, we said why we like him, but here he is two homers uh, after hitting just five and 126 games last year. Um, I don't know, you know, Donovan hitting leadoff for the Cardinals. You like that, obviously, but if the power is there too, uh, he could be really something. Yeah, a lot to unpack there. Donovan, one of my most rostered players, I was in a live auction with some Michigan friends and shout out to all the guys uh, who, who made it to Howell, Michigan on Sunday. We had a blast watching watching the Tigers just swing and miss against Springs all day. I, I, <laughs> again, you know, talk about FOMO. I have no shares of Springs. That's killing me. I'm going to try yeah, tonight in the Friends and Family League to get him, but unfortunately – you know, you guys all have the internet and televisions too. You guys all know that Springs <laughs> is a stud, but he and he looks so effortless too. It looks like he's not even trying out there. He just gets the smooth mm-hmm. delivery and the sweeping slider. He is so freaking good, and and I don't have any shares, and it's killing me. But um, Lazardo, okay, great raw stuff. He's got that changeup, so he can get right-handed hitters out. A little bit unlucky last year with the wins and losses. A little bit unlucky. His ERA should have been a little bit lower. I know the big thing with him has been staying healthy. And, and we say this about every pitcher, right? If I can just get 125 innings, 130 innings out of Lozada, I think they're going to be great. Yep. I, I He's somebody I did. I actually got him in the auction on Sunday, and I was really excited to do so. I think Miami's an under-the-radar team because you think of that division, and the Braves are maybe the best roster in baseball. The Mets have all this money and all this star power. Philadelphia has been in the World Series recently. They have a bunch of star power. They went on and got Turner. They'll eventually get Harper back. And then you have the Nationals, of course, who are you know, kind of a downtrodden team. I, I think Miami gets lost in the shuffle. There's a lot of good players there. You mentioned Pop earlier. and you know, I, I, they, they could be like an 85-win team, I think, if things break right. And so many pitchers that I want to draft, and I've got to have some Lazardo shares. Donovan has the skills. We said all, all spring. The skills to bat lead off. They wanted him to hit lead off. He showed power in spring training. It's hard to know what that means because a lot of times it's a, you're homered off a double A pitcher, a triple A pitcher. Who cares? But I think he hit four home runs in spring training. He's already hit two home runs to begin the regular season, and the OBP is going to play in the leadoff slot anyway. Yeah, I'm always looking. Shout out to Mike Curlin, who, who does a lot of work with batting order stuff at the Athletic, and, and it's great Twitter follow. I know we've talked about him on the show before. They do a thing now on roster resource, which is one of my favorite go to bookmarks on it's on fan graphs you can look at any team and they'll show a snapshot of their last seven lineups so yep. you can see you know who's in a platoon who's playing against lefties who's playing against righties it marks the handedness of the opposing pitcher i know there are other sites that have this baseball reference has it but that's something that's a page i'm going to a lot when i'm trying to make my fab I bidding like, you know, who's playing every day right like like trace thompson had a three home run game yeah but we're, we're gonna, gonna figure out how often is he going to play with the dodgers how often is outman gonna play who's playing against the different handedness so uh, be very lineup sensitive. We know well, the difference between hitting first or second or eighth or ninth is, you know, 90, 100, 120 at bats in a season. Uh, and you want to be in front of the, the better hitters on your same team. So I, I'm really excited. I, I know you, you, get, you can get carried away when you like a player and then he has four really good days like Donovan has. You just think, oh, man, I called that right. This Brendan Donovan's going to mm-hmm. be great this year. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. It's too early to, to proclaim any wins on anything. I do know this, though. Yahoo. He plays first, he plays second, he plays short, oh, yeah. he plays third. He plays the outfield. You can play a positionless fantasy roster. If somebody gets hurt, you put Donovan into the spot, and you elevate the best hitter off your bench. I love lineups that can do that. So uh, I, Brendan Donovan, big winner for me in the first four days. Yeah, I think that's why I like Donovan the, the best in, in fantasy. Leagues. You can really plug him anywhere. Injuries are going to happen, so he's a nice fill-in volume at the top of the Cardinals lineup, and sometimes that's what you want. Uh, especially in some of these deeper leagues, it's just to max out your at-bat. So um, Donovan will do that for you. Uh, 